Hello there! Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, Married with Children. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Married with Children is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the moives with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Married with Children. Number 1. Ed O'Neill as Al Bundy. Al's kind of rough around the edges, you know. Like, he's always grumbling about something and doesn't really have much patience, especially when it comes to dealing with pain. Plus, he's not exactly Mr. Nice Guy. He's pretty much rude to everyone, even the ladies at the shoe store where he works. And let me tell you, he's not shy about making some not-so-nice comments about their weight. But the thing about Al is that the only time he seems to light up is when he's hanging out at this local strip joint called the Jiggly Room. He's all about downing some beers and tossing some bills at the dancers. Ed O'Neill initially pursued a career in stage acting when he was unexpectedly offered the role of the Bundy family patriarch. A cynical Chicago shoe salesman who spends his days lounging on the couch and reminiscing about his high school football glory days. Despite his agent's advice to focus on more serious roles, O'Neill couldn't resist the opportunity or the steady income. By the eighth season, I was the highest paid actor on television, making almost a million dollars a show, he revealed to Wealth Simple magazine in 2021. Following the conclusion of Married with Children, O'Neill ventured into several film projects before landing the iconic role of Jay Pritchett in the TV series Modern Family, 2009-2020. His portrayal earned him three Emmy nominations and four Screen Actors Guild Awards. Additionally, O'Neill contributed his voice to animated films like Wreck-It Ralph, 2012, and Finding Dory, 2016. Though ever imprinted in pop culture as proverbially gruff but lovable Al Bundy, he of the hand resting comfortably in his pants, O'Neill would go on to build an impressive body of work as a distinguished, multi-layered character actor with an innate capacity to elicit audiences' empathy, no matter the role. In 2023, he starred in the miniseries The Sterling Affairs. Al Bundy played by Catherine Kelly, when he was 41 years old, and now he is 77 years old. Number two, Christina Applegate as Kelly Bundy Kelly's, what you might call a bit gullible and, well, not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. One time she saw her teacher wearing jeans with guess written on them and she goes, size 42? Yeah, you get the idea. Sure, she's got no shortage of guys lining up to hang out with her, but if you're looking for some deep conversation, you might be out of luck. Now, here's the thing about Kelly. She used to be pretty smart as a kid, but then she had this head injury on a family trip. And let's just say things haven't been the same since. Her memory's not great, and she's not exactly a master of reason. But hey, at least she's got her passions to keep her going. Born and raised in Hollywood, Christina Applegate made her screen debut as an infant in a commercial for baby bottles. She portrayed a young Grace Kelly in a TV biopic and appeared in guest roles on classic sitcoms like Charles in Charge and Silver Spoons. However, it was her portrayal of the beautiful yet airheaded Kelly Bundy that catapulted her to superstardom. While Married with Children was still airing, Applegate starred in the 1991 cult classic Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead and hosted Saturday Night Live. Following the show's conclusion, she headlined series such as Jesse, Samantha Who, and Dead to Me, earning an Emmy for her guest appearance on Friends as Rachel's irritating sister. Additionally, she secured prominent roles in films like the Anchorman series Vacation and Bad Moms. In 2008, Applegate was diagnosed with breast cancer, leading her to undergo a double mastectomy and ultimately make a full recovery. However, in 2021, she disclosed that she has multiple sclerosis. 
Despite facing challenges while filming the final season of Dead to Me due to her diagnosis, Applegate expressed to Vanity Fair that she's unlikely to pursue on-camera roles in the future, but hopes to continue working in voiceover. She currently resides in Los Angeles with her husband, musician Martin Lenoble, and their daughter. Kelly Bundy played by Christina Applegate when she was 16 years old and now she is 52 years old. Number 3. Katie Sagal as Peggy Bundy. She's kinda lazy, selfish, and, well, not exactly the most mature person you'll meet. She's basically a female version of her husband Al. As she puts it, we don't have opinions on politics, religion, science, starving people, nuclear holocaust, or recycling. The only thing we seem to feel strongly about is we both hate that painting behind Jay Leno. When it comes to spending money, Peggy doesn't hold back, even if the family's tight on cash. She thinks it's her duty as a wife to splurge on stuff from the Shop at Home network using Al's hard-earned money, no matter the consequences. Katie Seagal made her mark in the entertainment world with a diverse career-spanning film, television, and music. She rose to fame, portraying the hilariously ill-suited parental figure, Peggy Bundy, on the long-running sitcom Married with Children. Sporting a distinctive red bouffant hairdo and spiked high heels, Segal spent 11 memorable years as Peg. However, after the show ended, she faced challenges in shaking off the iconic character's image. Undeterred, Segal ventured into a variety of television roles, striving to showcase her versatility. She also delved into voice acting, notably voicing a character on the animated series Futurama. Additionally, Seagal reignited her music career, releasing notable albums and performing at small venues across the country. Her breakthrough came when she was cast by her third husband and show creator Kurt Sutter in the role of Gemma Morrow on the acclaimed biker drama Sons of Anarchy. This role allowed Seagal to shed the last traces of Peggy Bundy and establish herself as a versatile and accomplished actress in her own right. Peggy Bundy played by Katie Seagal when she was 33 years old and now she is 70 years old. Number 4. Amanda Bears as Marcy Darcy. You know, Marcy didn't start off that way. She was this sweet, innocent newlywed, but living next to the Bundys for so long kinda twisted her into something almost as wild as them. She'd get into these heated arguments with Al and seem to take pleasure in his misery. One big reason for her disdain towards Al is his old-school views on women. But Marcy's got this darker side, too. She loves reminiscing about her past, especially when she's with Peg. But sometimes she gets a bit too caught up in those memories. Throughout the series, she's painted as someone who kinda looks down on the Bundys, but also cares a lot about the environment. With a fresh-faced charm and youthful energy, Amanda Bierce made her mark as Marcy Darcy, the spirited feminist counterpart to Ed O'Neill's lovably clueless Al Bundy in the iconic sitcom Married with Children. Before gracing the small screen, Bierce honed her craft at the neighborhood playhouse and made waves with a memorable stint as Amanda Cozens on the daytime soap, All My Children. Venturing into films, she made her feature debut in Protocol alongside Goldie Hawn before capturing hearts in the delightful teen comedy Fraternity Vacation. Bierce's talent shone brightly in the horror comedy classic Fright Night, where she took on the role of the leading lady opposite William Ragsdale. In a bold move, she stepped behind the camera, directing episodes of Married with Children and showcasing her versatility in the entertainment industry. In 1993, Bierce made headlines by publicly embracing her identity as a lesbian, becoming a beacon of advocacy for LGBTQ rights. After a hiatus, she returned to acting with memorable appearances in the comedy drama series Drop Dead Diva and the exhilarating film Sky Sharks. Most recently, Bersa showcased her talents in the 2022 film Bros, 
portraying Luke McFarlane's mother, adding another feather to her cap of diverse roles and accomplishments in the world of entertainment. Marcy Darcy, played by Amanda Bercy, when she was 29 years old, and now she is 65 years old. Number 5. David Faustino as Bud Bundy. Oh, Bud Bundy, what a character. He's about as modest as a peacock strutting its stuff. No shame in his game, that's for sure. He's got big dreams of hitting it big and making a name for himself, and he's not shy about letting everyone know. Bud's got this thing for women, or anything remotely resembling a woman. He's not picky, let's just put it that way. He'll chase after anything with a pulse, and if he can't find the real deal, well, he's not above resorting to a blow-up doll. But hey, at least he's got Kelly to remind him of what he's missing, right? Before he even turned 20, David Faustino had already amassed an impressive resume with 150 TV, film, and commercial credits. Rising to fame as Bud Bundy, the perpetually adolescent son on the beloved Fox sitcom Married with Children, 1987-1997, Faustino's relatable every-teen persona endeared him to audiences. Hailing from a showbiz family, with his father working as a costumer and his siblings also pursuing acting, Faustino started his career at just three months old, appearing as Lily Tomlin's child in one of her TV specials in 1974. His early television appearances included a role on an episode of Little House on the Prairie in 1979. In 1985, Faustino landed a regular role on the short-lived CBS series I Had Three Wives, playing the son of Victor Garber's character. However, it was his role as Bud Bundy on Married with Children that catapulted him to widespread recognition. The groundbreaking sitcom, known for its irreverent humor and unconventional family dynamics, became a cultural phenomenon and one of the longest-running sitcoms in TV history. Alongside his television work, Faustino also appeared in TV movies such as Mr. Boogadi, 1986, and its sequel as well as Perfect Harmony, 1991, which addressed issues of racism in a prep school setting. During breaks from filming Married with Children, Faustino dedicated time to honing his craft, studying acting in New York City by the mid-1990s, Bud Bundy, played by David Faustino, when he was 13 years old, and now he is 49 years old. Number 6. Ted McGinley as Jefferson Darcy Ah, Jefferson Darcy, the epitome of vanity and laziness rolled into one charming package. This guy's all about himself, and he's not afraid to show it. Hanging out with his buddies from No Ma'am, he's the king of crude remarks especially when it comes to talking about his wife, Marcy. His sense of humor? Well, let's just say it's not for everyone. But hey, Jefferson's got his secrets too. He's got this little hideaway, a bachelor pad where he can escape from the everyday grind. Waterbed on the floor, mirror ball on the ceiling. It's like his own little slice of heaven. And those fake medical degrees on the wall? Classic Jefferson. Ted McGinley, a former model turned prominent character actor, graced screens both large and small, often portraying empty-headed jocks or smarmy heartthrobs with questionable intentions. Most active during the 1980s and 1990s, McGinley made his mark as a high school coach and teacher on Happy Days, CBS ABC 1973-1984, then joined The Love Boat, ABC, 1977-1986, as the new cruise director in the show's later years. In film, he stood out as the leader of a jock fraternity in Revenge of the Nerds, 1984. While he occasionally ventured into movies, McGinley's mainstay was television, where he delivered his most memorable role as the underhanded neighbor of the dysfunctional Bundy family on Married with Children, Fox, 1986-1997. Unfortunately, due to his late casting on series already in Declean, McGinley was unfairly associated with the concept of jumping the shark the moment when a show peaks and begins its descent into creative mediocrity. Nevertheless, McGinley remained a steady presence on television through the new millennium, with roles on The West Wing, NBC 1999, 
2006, and Hope and Faith, ABC, 2003-2006, solidifying his status as a dependable character performer. Recently, he has had a recurring role on the TV series Shrinking. McGinley resides in Los Angeles with his wife of 32 years, actress Gigi Rice. Jefferson Darcy played by Ted McGinley when he was 31 years old and now he is 65 years old. Number 7. David Garrison as Steve Rhodes Steve started off as the quintessential straight-laced guy, looking down his nose at the Bundy's antics. But as time went on, he found himself getting pulled into their world more and more. Marcy was initially drawn to him because of his self-centered attitude, which matched her own in some ways. Despite his generally respectful nature, Steve had his moments of weakness. Like that time when Al roped him into checking out an attractive repairwoman, and Steve couldn't resist making a snide comment at first. But hey, a beer and a leer later, and they were bonding over it. As a banker, Steve had a mean streak too. He took pleasure in turning the tables on his former high school bullies, denying them loans and enjoying their comeuppance. It was a darker side that even surprised those who thought they knew him best. After graduating from Boston University's College of Fine Arts in 1974, David Garrison embarked on a career in theater, earning acclaim for his Tony-nominated performance in the Broadway musical A Day in Hollywood, A Night in the Ukraine. In 1984, he transitioned to television with a role on the sitcom It's Your Move. Although the show was canceled after its first season, Garrison caught the attention of show creators Ron Levitt and Michael G. Moy, who enlisted him for their new project. Garrison joined the cast of Married with Children as Marcy's first husband, the stuffy banker Steve Rhodes. However, his passion for stage performance led him to depart the show after four seasons. While he has made guest appearances on various TV shows over the years, including 30 Rock, The West Wing, and Law and & Order, Garrison has primarily focused on theater. One of his most notable stage roles has been portraying The Wizard of Oz in both the Broadway production and first national tour of Wicked. Steve Rhodes played by David Garrison when he was 35 years old, and now he is 71 years old. Number 8. Harold Sylvester as Griff Griff shares many of Al's interests, including bowling as a member of the bowling team Gary's Angels, and fishing, as evidenced by his emotional reaction when he missed out on an ice fishing opportunity due to other plans. Despite their friendship, there have been instances where Griff has opposed Al. For instance, he once pointed out the hypocrisy of Al's newfound religion in the episode Reverend Al, and even threw a stone at Al during a sermon on marital fidelity. Additionally, Griff harbored resentment towards Al and No Ma'am in Twisted, following a prank that landed Griff in serious trouble. Despite initially promising to support Al during a challenging situation, Griff quickly abandoned him upon encountering a beautiful woman. Born on February 10, 1949, Harold Sylvester made history as the first African American to receive an athletic scholarship from Tulane University. Despite enrolling as a basketball player, his passion for theater and psychology led him to graduate as an actor. Sylvester embarked on his show business journey in the 1970s with roles in films close to his heart, including the basketball comedy Fast Break and the New Orleans thriller The Night of the Strangler. While he found success as a character actor in movies like the sci-fi comedy Inner Space and the wrestling drama Vision Quest, Sylvester's magnetic presence drew attention from TV producers and casting directors in the 80s and 90s. He landed recurring roles on various sitcoms and dramas, from Mary and Shaky Ground to Walking Tall and Hill Street Blues. Sylvester captured primetime audiences with his portrayal of Griff the Shoe Salesman on 44 episodes of Married with Children before taking on a regular role in City of Angels, a short-lived medical drama where he also ventured into producing and story editing. 
Additionally, he wrote the New Orleans basketball TV movie, Passing Glory, and penned episodes of NYPD Blue, returning to the series nearly a decade after his guest appearances. Griff played by Harold Sylvester when he was 45 years old, and now he is 74 years old. Number 9. E. E. Bell as Bob Rooney. Bob Rooney, a friend of Al's since their high school football days, served as the treasurer of No Ma'am during its existence. Working as a butcher, Bob Rooney is married to Peggy's friend Louise. And interestingly, he is always referred to by his full name, Bob Rooney, even by his wife. This peculiarity extends to having his name stitched into one of his bowling shirts as Bob Rooney. He's known as the go-to guy for DIY home repairs, owning a complete set of manuals for such tasks, making him the designated fix-it guy in the group. E. E. Bell, a versatile character actor, has carved out a diverse and enduring career spanning television sitcoms, action films, soap operas, and teen comedies. His journey began in the early 80s with a series called Herndon, notable for starring Ted McGinley, who would later become a colleague on Married with Children. This early break paved the way for Bell's appearances on popular sitcoms like Different Strokes and Cheers. In 1991, he transitioned to the big screen with a role in the comedy Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, starring Christina Applegate, foreshadowing their future collaboration on Married with Children. Throughout the 90s, Bell worked steadily, leaving a memorable impression as an irate basketball fan in Billy Crystal's romantic comedy Forget Paris, 1995. Of course, he's best known for his role as Bob Rooney, the loyal but hapless friend of Al Bundy, appearing in nearly two dozen episodes of Married with Children. Bell continued his momentum into the new millennium, scoring a recurring role as Barney, a security guard, on the teen-friendly series The Amanda Show in 2000. Throughout the decade, he made guest appearances on popular shows like The West Wing, Without a Trace, and How I Met Your Mother, while also logging numerous credits in soap operas such as The Bold and the Beautiful. Bob Rooney played by E.E. E. Bell when he was 42 years old and now he is 68 years old. Number 10. Tom McClyster as Ike. Ike, a close friend of Alan Jefferson, holds a firm belief that Elvis Presley is still alive. He's an integral part of their social circle and serves as the sergeant at arms within the No Ma'am organization. In his role within No Ma'am, Ike is responsible for ensuring the smooth operation of meetings by escorting both members and non-members in and out of the meeting area, sometimes resorting to physical force when needed. Similar to other No Ma'am members, Ike thoroughly enjoys spending time at their beloved hangout spot, the Jiggly Room. He relishes in drinking cases of beer while watching sports like football, basketball, or baseball on TV. Thomas McClyster, born on May 26, 1949, in New York City, is an American actor best recognized for his portrayal of Ike on Married with, the Air with Children. McClyster also took on the role of Kolos in the series Star Trek Deep Space Nine, notably appearing in the episode Q-less. His extensive television credits include guest appearances on popular shows like NYPD Blue, Roswell, Angel, Matlock, Jake and the Fat Man, Diagnosis Murder, and Providence. McClaster has also ventured into the realm of film, with notable roles in movies such as Midnight Run, 1988, where he played a supporting role, the blockbuster hit Twins, 1988, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, Crazy in Alabama, 1999, and Grand Theft Parsons, 2003. In 2004, he portrayed a lawyer in Clint Eastwood's critically acclaimed drama, Million Dollar Baby, which earned several Academy Awards. Ike played by Tom McClayster when he was 45 years old, and now he is 74 years old. As we reflect on the incredible journey of the married, with children cast from 1987 to 1997, witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years 
has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of Married with Children. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable The Married, with children cast of yesteryear.